Kids play along, and today um, we're doing something totally, totally different than usual. I have four songs that all can be played together, and so in music, there really are three big elements. One of which is the melody, and that is if you're singing the song, it's the tune of the song, or if you're like playing the piano, it's it's the melody, it's the what what you would hum. And the other is rhythm, and on the ukulele, the big rhythm is. A, Definitely our rhythm comes from the strumming, but it also can come for how the notes are put together. If you have a, a song that has very long notes, it's going to be, the rhythm is going to be different than if you have a song that, that if you're singing it, there are a lot of really fast words that go together, especially if they're made to be rhythmic, to kind of make a rhythm to it. And the last thing is the harmony, and the harmony are our chords. And I probably have said this before, but a chord is really notes together. If you have just two notes together, it's called an interval. So this right here is, that's an interval. You know, da, da. But if we add this other one, we now have a chord because we have three different notes. And on the C chord, we have, this is actually the same as that. So it's, it's three notes. And if we have the seventh chord, it actually is four different notes. So today we're going to be dealing with harmony. Now, I don't know if, if in your music class you did this, but we always did. We always did things that were called partner songs. And they were two songs that you could sing together. And so the one that we, we there were a couple we did, but one I always liked was one that I've, I've taught that is, um, is um, My Paddle's Keen and Bright, or the canoe song, My Paddle's Keen and Bright, flashing with silver. Follow the wild goose light, dip, dip, and swing. That tune? Well, when I was in school, we learned that song, but we also went along with a song called Land of the Silver Birch, Home of the Beaver, where still the mighty moose wanders at will. Blue Lake and Rocky Shore, I must return once more. Boom, diddy, yada, boom, diddy, yada, boom. You probably noticed that the second one was a little bit longer. When we would do that as a partner song, which is a song that you sing together, it would, um, you would do that my paddle's keen and bright two times through to get to the other. So today we're gonna to be taking the idea of the partner song to an extreme. I have four songs, four folk songs that all can be sung at the same time. They don't have the same melody, they don't have the same rhythm, but what they do have is the same harmony. And for us in the ukulele, that harmony means the chords. They all have only three chords, there's C, a G7 and an F, and those are the only chords. But, and, and the thing about it that makes them work is that they, the chords fall in exactly the same order, the same beat. And so, um, I'll try to count this. So when you play it, it's going to be 12 Cs, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, then four G7s, two, three, four, four Cs, Four Fs, and then two Cs, two G7s, and one at the end. They're all exactly the same. Even though the songs are, are different, they have exactly the same harmony uh, in, the, in the exact same order. So let's take a look at them. Uh, so the first one uh, is a song that I bet you all know, and that is She'll Be Coming Round the Mountain. And if you don't know it, I bet you do it. She'll be coming round the mountain when she comes. She'll be coming round the mountain when she comes. She'll be coming round the mountain. She'll be coming round the mountain. She'll be coming round the mountain when she comes. So um, I'm going to do it again and count how many C's, how many G7s, and see if I was right. I'm saying it's 12, 4, 4, 4, 2, 2, 1. So, it kind of goes down each time. So here we go. So here is she'll be coming around the mountain. She'll be coming around the mountain when she comes. She'll be coming around the mountain when she comes. She'll be coming around the mountain. She'll be coming around the mountain. She'll be coming around the mountain when she comes. All right. And uh, for today, we're going to 
play everything that we do with just one down strum. No, no fancy things with that. Just to keep everything together, you can use your thumb or you can, you can actually use um, the full strum. And so all of the songs we're gonna do the same. All right, so She'll Be Coming Around the Mountain is one of the ones that, um, that we'll be using. Uh, another one is another song called Oh When the Saints Go Marching In. And again, it's Oh When the Saints Go Marching In. has that same same pattern the C plays at the same time the G7 plays at the same time and the F plays they all play exactly at the same time so let's do that one again in case you don't know it oh when the saints go marching in oh when the saints go And um, when they get sung together, something else happens. You not only have the harmony here, but there's gonna be harmony in the voices because the melody is different. And again, when you have, um, you have melody notes coming together on, on different pitches, they also make a harmony. So, um, okay, another one we're gonna do is This Train is Bound for Glory. This one may not be as familiar. So let me play this one for you. This train is bound for glory, this train. This train is bound for glory, this train. This train is bound for glory. Don't carry nothing but the righteous and the holy. This train is bound for glory, this train. That gets, that's pretty fast there. Don't carry nothing but the righteous and the holy is really fast in this. Um, when you're playing them together, you kind of find a tempo that kind of fits. Um, you know, things like she'll be coming around the mountain and when the saints are kind of zippy songs, whereas this train probably is a slower song. So let me do it again. Okay. This train is bound for glory, this train. This train is bound for glory, this train. This train is bound for glory. Don't carry nothing but the righteous and the holy. This train is bound for glory, this train. And the last one is Mama Don't Allow. And I've changed the words. Usually it's uh, Mama Don't Allow No Music around here. I've changed it. Mama Don't Allow No Ukulele around here. So I made it so it's um, hopefully your mamas don't do that. I don't think mine would. So that one goes, Mama Don't Allow No Ukuleles Round Here. Mama Don't Allow No Ukuleles Round Here. I don't care what Mama allows. Gonna play my ukulele anyhow. Mama Don't Allow No Ukuleles Round Here. Okay, one other thing I've got to tell you about the songs is that some of them start right away. This train is bound for glory. This train does and Mama don't allow no music. So when you sing Mama or this, you, you are going to strum at the same time. This train is bound for glory. This train, Mama don't allow no ukulele. But listen, what's different? This is She'll Be Coming. She'll be coming round the mountain when she comes. Did I strum on the shield? I didn't. It's she'll be coming. The strum comes on, on on coming, as you can see by where I put it on the words. Or when the saints, oh when the saints, you notice that oh when the saints, and she'll be coming. That there are words that come before that that um, C chord. That in music is called often a pickup, and that is something that it's it's usually are some words or a piece of music that that starts before the beat. So we've got our beat. T -t -t -t. She'll be coming. It's gonna come. So both of them, when when you're singing it, you can't start at the same time. You're gonna have to wait to. She'll be coming round the mountain when she comes, or oh when the saints. And with that too, those make good ones if you're gonna play them together. They're good ones to start with. That gives the people. That gives you know, anyone else you're singing with, the what they want to sing. This train is bound for. They've got. She'll be this train. It gives you that little bit of a, an end to it. So let me show you how these go together. Okay, so here we go. She'll be this train is bonding for she this train.
don't carry nothing but the righteous and the holy. This train is bound for glory. This train is But oh, sorry, let's start it again. The other thing about this is, is that you can actually have four people singing that at the same time because all four of them go together. So I just think it's um, a pretty cool concept is to have this uh, you know, kind of a folk song mashup here with, with all four of the songs. And the good thing is I'm going to sing them all through. I'm going to start um, uh, with uh, starting at the bottom. So that I'm going to start with, oh, when the saints and mama don't allow, she'll be coming around in this train. And that way, um, if you start um, at, the at the top and go to the bottom, we will be together. And so then you can sing along with me doing this. If you've got someone else in your family who would like to sing, they don't have to play, want to sing along with you. It's really fun to get four people doing this. It, it sounds so cool. So we're going to, I'm going to hold off on the play along for one more thing. I have, next week I have, the chords are pretty easy. They're, I'm doing a genre now of music. Now genre, in libraries we have genres too for books. There are mystery books, there are adventure books, there's science fiction books, there are what's called realistic fiction books, there's school, school stories, nonfiction, all the different kinds of books that kind of fall into a category. Well, music has its genres too. And there's folk music, there's rock music, there's classical music. Well, I'm doing a genre next week. It's one of some of my favorite music. But in there, there's one song that only has two chords, one of which is a, a G7. No, oh, no, I'm sorry, it's a G, it's a regular G, sorry, I, I forgot. It's just a regular G. But the other one is a C minor, only two chords in the whole song. And it is such a cool song. But I want to teach you the C minor chord and so that you can get up a little bit. It is, it's a, what's called a bar chord. We're going to use our finger and we're going to block off three strings right there. So we're, we are going to um, put our finger over um, on the third fret. We're going to put it on, not, the, not on the G, but we're going to put it on the, the C, the E, and the A, all of them. And, and the other thing is, if you look at where my thumb is, my thumb is not there in the middle like usually you I put my thumb over close to close to that side and you push down and you try to keep I had a crooked there you try to keep it as straight as you can on there and so that's C minor so here's C and C minor but for this song normally you do play you play bar chords with your with your um, your first finger and um, you do have to push down quite hard to make sure, sorry, make sure that everything sounds, you don't want to get like that. You want to make sure. And the hardest one is definitely going to be there on the A, the A string right there. But the thing with this song is we're going to G, which is right there. What works really well for that is not to use your first finger like normal, but to use your fourth finger. And in some ways it's easier. You don't normally use your fourth finger on things, but in this case, because the song, you know, a lot of C minor. Oops, I got the wrong chord there. Never mind. I thought I was going for the G7. Um, it is G. So that is, that's the whole song right there. There's a bunch of things we're gonna do with it. So you're gonna have one down. So rather than typically a bar chord, it's spelled B-A-R-R-E, kind of like what a ballerina practices at the bar. Um, it's a bar chord and a bar, that just means that you're covering more than, um, more than having your finger on more than one string. So there's a bar chord, the next one we're gonna learn has these two. In fact, if you wanna practice that, Doing those two, two. Okay, 
at the top. That's going to be the next bar chord we learn. That is part of, I'm sorry, I should tell you what it is. It's, it's part of the, it's part of a B flat chord, which um, is um, in the key of F. It is the five of F. That's why we don't play much in the key of F because it, it's, I think that is the first kind of really challenging chord that, that you're going to learn. But so just try that out. And use, by using that third finger, you've got the other two ready and just slide over. I always look for what I, I call economy of motion when I'm playing the ukulele. That is moving as little as you possibly can. You know, keep, you know, when you're doing it, look for ways. Like when I'm here, I d I'm doing that because I can actually have, to be honest, you can actually have the two notes of your G chord already there and then just move over. You can actually have those down and ready. So for me, that's good economy of motion. You don't, you don't hear those other two. And then, so you can do that. It's um, just a tip. All right, so shall we try this, um, this folk song mashup? So I'm gonna start with Oh, Win the Saints, which is at the bottom here. And then Mama Don't Allow, and then she'll be coming around the mountain, and then this train. And that way, you can start the other way and try them. Or you can just, if you like one you really like, just sing the same one the whole time. So the chords again are just, it's just gonna be our C, G sharp, all right, sorry, what am I saying? C, G7, and F. And um, if, you, if, you, if you do the counting, it's, it's 12 of the C, and then four, 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 two, two, and one. But you don't, you'll, you'll see where it is. The words, the, the chords line up with the words. And even though it doesn't look it on the page, they all do line up exactly. Okay, so oh, when the saints starts with a pickup. So oh, when the saints. And so if you're doing this train, it's gonna be oh, when the this train is bound for glory. Or if you're doing mama don't allow, oh, when the mama don't allow. I'm gonna go kind of slow so we can get all those, don't carry nothing but the righteous and holy in. Here we go. Oh, when the saints go marching in. Oh, when the saints go marching in. Oh, I want to be in that number. When the saints go marching in. Mama don't allow no ukuleles round here. Mama don't allow no ukuleles round here. Well, I don't care what mama allows, gonna play my ukulele. carrying nothing but the righteous and the holy because that's going to make things sound well everyone else is just doing um you know around the mountain or or uh the number that went holes so that's kind of fun and uh let me do it um one more time but i'm going to include my playing along so we've got so we're going to have double the things going on in there here we go She'll be coming round the mountain for me this train. She'll be coming round the mountain for me this train. Choose your three favorites. I 
think I did not do a good job singing. She'll be coming around the mountains, but it, it was in the right, um, definitely in the right key. So those are my songs for today. Practice doing that C minor to G and um, you'll be ready for next week. That's the, really the only tricky thing that we've got and got some great songs. So hope you have a great week and um, have fun playing and singing with yourself. Try taping yourself with your phone too and, uh, and singing along with yourself. All right, okay, bye-bye, have a great week.